All right, guys. Uh, I'm just working on the uh, the out drive today. I'm doing a couple of things, um, trying to see if I can get it all on video. Um, I've already uh, finished resurfacing that this part right here of the lower unit. Um, check out my video for that one. Now I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be taking off this actual lower half of the unit. Now, um, I've done it before. It's not that, it's not that hard. And, um, I'm going to be, uh, cleaning some of the gasket maker that I put on there. Um, while I'm waiting for some of the uh, O-rings and uh, water inlet uh, caps to come in. So I'm just getting everything prepped up for when the parts come in uh, in, a, in a few days. And so uh, that's, that's what I'm trying to, trying to capture today. But um, stay tuned and I'm going to go and uh, open this up right here. All right. All right, guys. So this would be uh, basically the second time I'm going to be opening this up. Um, there's only about eight bolts. Or no, there's nine. There's nine in here. Uh, it's pretty easy. And so, uh, let's get started. These two are seven sixteen. Actually, let me use my power tool. Makes it easier.
Okay. And I saw the boats. All right, guys. Um, it's a bit of a struggle to get the uh, upper upper gear case and lower gear case separated. Um, I had to have my brother help me. Um, so what we did was we put it on this uh, mover movers dolly from. I got that from uh, Harbor Freight. It was on sale for like eight bucks. Um, so we put it on there. Um, it's kind of nice too because it keeps the fin um, through a gap in the middle. Um, so it's standing up pretty straight by itself. Now. Um, I think it is it's easier to separate them in this position um, especially if you don't have uh, a table that rotates to where you can um, separate them I think this way is uh, it's easier so um, what I had to do was I just had to get a, a screwdriver to kind of prop it up all around and then you kind of turn the uh, the upper gear case kind of wiggle, wiggle it off left and right um, and I'm pretty sure it's because of the o-ring that's right there that makes it um, that makes it a little bit of a struggle to get it off but it's not bad uh, you just need an assistance kind of to hold the bottom the bottom unit while the other person lifts up. Um, let me see. All right, so that's uh, that's taking those two apart.